Let's try one more thing. And so let me let me go to my south elevation real quick and see if I can move this guy up. Or actually, let's just try it. So let's just say I had a four point and I came in with this four point tube that was six inches and I started here and I went one make sure I'm getting the right one again sometimes it's hard to tell where you're picking two three and then four right so now if I repeat that I'm getting kind of this you know lean to maybe it's a tie back or something like that and then maybe I decide if I go to my south elevation, right, maybe I decide that this guy, if I pick the line, needs to be higher. So if I move that guy, let's go over here, select it again, come over here, go to move, move that guy up, maybe that would be too much, maybe just a thousand, maybe a meter, right? So now that's a little bit further. The only thing I need to make sure of, and now <clears throat> you can see over here, it's not going into the ground. So I can kind of, again, let me close this guy, come in here and manipulate these things. So I'm picking the line, coming to the other one, and then I'm just going to move this some distance back, right? until hopefully it starts to go into the ground. So it may or may not. We may need to move that guy down a little bit again, right? So let me go ahead in here and turn on the topography. So all I'm asking is for you guys just to sort of play around, right? So, oh yeah, so we'd have to go down because we want it to hit before the road. So then you would just go to the south elevation. Whoops, let's put this guy over here, right? And pick that line again wherever you can get it. Let's see if I can get it here. There we go. And then left click in here, go to move, and let's pull that down like we're going to get it close to where we were before probably, but like 600. Yeah, so there we are at 600, and that seems to have gotten it buried almost almost so maybe one more move I think we could probably do maybe 200 and that's got it buried it's still going into the road but you kind of get the idea of of how you might start to work this right I mean the other thing you could do as well maybe that angle is too much so if you come in here and pick that one and come in here and move that up right maybe that actually gets moved up some extent you know so you begin to be able to move this other one down right so anyway it's it's a way of working you know it's a little bit of a design oriented way of working um, it's quite different but Right, maybe, maybe. All right, let's see what that looks like. I'm going to shade it over here. So that's got it, right, about like that. So now you've got sort of this canopy running across there. Um, and then, you know, if you wanted something on top of it, you know, you could go in and start... Um, I don't know, you could place just a glass piece on top of it as an extrusion, or it's possible, let me see if I've got one, four point, four point panel, ooh, that looks a little crazy though, let's see, four point square, mm, frame, shingle, maybe that'll be it, so that's a four point frame so I could come in and, and load that and then if I go to wireframe here um, let's go ahead and pick that guy and edit in place 
and I'm just going to isolate the divided paths. Whoops. You know, isolate category. There we go. So there's my divided paths, right? So if I come in and go to down here where I have a four point frame, I can come in, now let's pick one, two, three, four, right? And then let's reset to her head, isolate. And it puts that frame basically with a shingle on it and I can repeat that. And if I go to shaded, right? Oh, it's a little, let's fix it. So this is the shingle I edit type. Let's take it at zero, and then we'll make this whoops, that's way too big, right? So it has a little shingle on it, <laughs> so I could make that a little shorter. So if I edit type, let's make that like Right, so now you've got kind of a little covered, a little covered piece, right?